Hello and uh, welcome uh, to this new course, Slope Stability Analysis uh, using Plaxis uh, 2D. I am uh, Dr. Nichiban Tahir and in this course uh, you'll learn how to perform a slope stability analysis uh, using uh, Plaxis 2D. So in uh, this course, uh, modeling of a uh, slope with uh, more column uh, soil constitutive models and uh, effect of water table on factor of safety, impact of nearby foundation, and uh, also construction of embankment reinforced with due grids will be uh, covered in this course. And uh, this course is uh, designed for civil engineering students or geotechnical uh, engineering students or for uh, engineers or professional and researchers and anyone uh, who is interested in practical geotechnical engineering. Uh, for this course, no prior experience in Plaxis 2D is uh, required and step-by-step uh, -step, uh, guidance will be provided in this uh, course. So uh, this is a uh, first uh, tutorial for uh, this course and uh, it is an introduction to the slope stability analysis course using Plaxis uh, 2D and we will have a short introduction about uh, slope stability analysis and uh, also I will talk about uh, the syllabus of uh, the course uh, such as slope stability analysis uh, using a more column model and also we will uh, uh, have effect of uh, rising uh, water table on the factor of safety of the slope and also uh, effect of nearby foundation when we have a city foundation uh, near uh, the crest of the slope so how this foundation affected the performance and uh, factor of safety of the slope also we will have a tutorial for a simulation and analysis of road embankment reinforced with a uh, geogrids So what is uh, slope stability? If we take this simple definition, slope stability uh, refers to the resistance of inclined rock or uh, soil to failure by sliding or collapsing. And uh, the purpose of uh, slope stability analysis is to ensure safety and reliability of slopes under a uh, natural or man-made uh, condition. Uh, such as excavation or embankment or uh, foundation. And in this course, uh, Plaxis 2D will be used for uh, slope, stabili slope stability, which is a powerful finite element uh, software uh, based on uh, finite element method. And uh, the factor of safety is uh, calculated using strength reduction method in uh, Plaxis 2D or uh, 3D. Uh, it is uh, different from uh, other limit equilibrium method because in uh, other uh, software like GU5 or any other software which are based on limit equilibrium method, uh, the, the, the difference in uh, Plaxis uh, software is that Plaxis based on strength reduction method for calculation of factor of safety and we will uh, talk about this method in detail in uh, later tutorials. So uh, what are uh, real application of uh, slope? We have uh, many application for example like uh, highway and railway embankment as you can see uh, in this uh, figure. Uh, this figure shows a uh, real uh, world uh, slope uh, application for uh, a railway or for highway. Uh, for highway, also we uh, we have when we have earth dam, it is an uh, application of a slope. Uh, that's why it is uh, very important, especially in earth dam. Uh, the slope stability analysis is uh, critical and very important. Also, when we have excavation near building, uh, it is required to uh, ensure the safety of the slope uh, near this uh, near this uh, building. 
uh, to avoid any damage in the building. Also sometimes we have natural uh, hillside development and also in some uh, situation when we have slope footing interaction zone and uh, for example sometimes we have a slope like this one for example and also we have uh, for example a foundation near the slope uh, whether this foundation for electrical tower or any other uh, structure so what is the key uh, influencing uh, factor so there are some factors affecting the uh, factor of safety or slope stability uh, such as uh, the geometry geometry is an important factor and uh, has a great uh, influence on the stability of the slope for example uh, the height when the height of the slope is increased so the factor of safety is decreased also the slope angle uh, slope angle and uh, tree and crest position are also two factors affecting the slope stability also the water condition uh, for example when we have a seepage or a rainfall infiltration poor water pressure built up uh, so uh, the the existence of uh, the water in the slope also affected the stability of the slope considerably and uh, there is also another important uh, factor which are a sheer strength of the soil when we have a strong soil so the factor of safety will be high for a slope and when the shear strength parameters are low uh, so the factor of safety may be low so the shear strength parameter of the soil is a cohesion and also the internal friction angle uh, also uh, loading when we have external load from foundation traffic or seismic activity uh, uh, these uh, surcharge loads or a seismic uh, activity affected the stability of the slope so uh, through this uh, course we will use a uh, plaxis 2d version uh, so uh, this version will be used version 2024.2.0 and uh, if you uh, don't have the plaxis 2d you can contact us we uh, can help you to uh, install the trial uh, version uh, if you are unable to uh, install uh, the trial version of the plaxis uh, and you can easily uh, download from the Bentley site and uh, use this version or if you have a licensed version it, uh, it would be better for you okay so uh, in this course we will have uh, one tutorial uh, tutorial number two slope stability analysis using a mohr column so we will have uh, this uh, kind of uh, slope uh, the uh, the purpose of this example is to define slope geometry using a boreholes and also using the soil polygon so we can model the geometry of the slope using two different approaches in plaxis 2d uh, using a boreholes or using the soil polygon so we will explain both approaches in this uh, example uh, also we will define the soil properties using a mohr column model and we will estimate the factor of safety of a slope based on the shear strength reduction uh, method and also we will uh, identify the critical failure surface of the slope as you can see in this figure so in the next tutorial in tutorial number three we will investigate the effect of rising water table on the factor of safety of the slope so uh, you can see in here when we have uh, when uh, the water is existing on when uh, the uh, water table is uh, rised in the slope and we will investigate uh, how this water table affected the factor of safety and how can we uh, model uh, this water table uh, in plaxis uh, 2d also in tutorial number four we have a slope stability analysis with adjacent uh, strip uh, foundation so as i mentioned before in some situation we have nearby foundation uh, adjacent to the slope so in this example we will have a slope uh, 
like this uh, this geometry and we have two different soil layer the dense sand layer and also the silty clay and we have the steel foundation near the crest of the slope and we will uh, see how this foundation affected the stability of the slope and also how can we define the slope geometry like uh, two layer slope geometry using a boreholes in a uh, plaques uh, study uh, also this also some uh, results from uh, tutorial number four so uh, this one shows the failure surface of the slope and uh, this is also a failure surface uh, of the slope in here so this one is a strain and uh, this one is a total uh, deformation and uh, this one uh, this one also shows a deformation under the foundation near the slope also in the tutorial uh, number five we will have a stability analysis of a road embankment reinforced with a dew grid so we will have a soil stratigraphy like uh, this one a one clay uh, soil layer uh, which is 19 uh, meters and we will uh, construct a road embankment on this uh, soil so first we will uh, construct one meter of a uh, sand layer as a sand mat and uh, after that we will have uh, this uh, uh, road embankment and we will reinforce this uh, embankment using uh, uh, geogrids as a reinforcement material so in this example you will learn how to define how to model this kind of problem and uh, how can we uh, estimate or uh, find the material properties for the reinforcement and how this uh, reinforcement affected the uh, stability of the embankment so as you can see uh, this is a failure uh, surface of uh, uh, tutorial number five as you can see the failure is like uh, this one and this one also is a strain in the soil body and it shows a failure a surface of the slope so uh, this was an introduction to uh, slope stability analysis using plaques uh, 2d course and uh, the complete course is available on uh, udemy platform and uh, I will leave uh, the registration link, uh, link in the description so if you are interested you can uh, enroll in uh, the course.